How is it going guys? Film Fanatic and I've got another uh, movie review for today and today we are going to be reviewing Pitch Perfect Ghosts. Now this movie was considerably worse. Um, it wasn't that much worse than the first one but I thought, you know, it didn't live up to the hype I guess. Um, but starting off with my pros, I thought that there were some very unneeded and dragged on scenes. Um, you probably know what I'm talking about more towards the beginning. Um, it's just not something that we needed to know about the story. And, um, yeah. And then we really didn't get to the main story until the last act of the movie. Pretty much the whole movie is about, like, finding friendship and, like, you know, gaining trust with, um, the other Bellas. And, uh, I don't know, like, like, so, like, it, you know, they're, like, going to, like, world competition, whatever, to beat, um, DOS Sound Machine. And they didn't do that until the last 20 minutes of the movie. And I felt like, you know, this whole time they could be, like, training and, like, getting more of the Bella action and not more of the Bella love. And then in, the, in this movie, there were also a bunch of product, product placement. CoverGirl, Beats, Apple, Nike, etc. Too much, in my opinion. And then they failed, like, a concert, so they go on, like, a retreat to gain that their voices back <laughs> it's like are you kidding me uh, uh, yeah and then in and then in that when they're in that camp they were they were like whispering when when like everyone's like awake and stuff they're like it was just like that you know and i like everyone's uh, else is like blah 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 yeah, I don't know why. And they also used a GoPro at one point. And, I mean, I've seen better GoPro camera working. Like, you've seen The Martian. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there were, also, there were also a bunch of jokes towards, like, Asians and Blacks and stuff. You know, more on the racist side um, than the first one. And I just thought, you know, it's not okay to joke about different reasons. And, th and then, like I said before, this movie was also really about, like, friendship rather than competition. And after they were at that treat, it was, like, a weird transition to the retreat to Barden campus, um, with the scene when Fat Amy's like, oh, I love Bumpa, I gotta go to him. And, like, she was, like, rowing. And, like, it was, like, I don't know, like, Fat Amy's, like, run into Bumper, and then right away she's, like, rowing. And then she's on Barden campus, and it's, like, How'd you get there? You know, whatever. And then also in the twenty, and then in the last twenty minutes of the movie, the movie really, really focused on DSM and the Bellows, and like you saw a bunch of other comp com competing teams, but you really didn't didn't get to see those people very well. You know, it's like oh, the two best teams have to be the main part, and you could have had other teams as well. But I, I mean, I kind of got why they did that, but I felt like. It was a little out of place not knowing about the other teams. Besides all the pro all the cons to this movie, um, the plot and the story in this movie was great. I actually enjoyed it. Considerably be better than uh, the first one. Um, and then also Hallie Steinfeld was a great addition to being Abella. She has a great voice. I know that she just recently uh, released her own album. And she was also Petra in Ender's Game, which is one of my favorite movies. Um, and then the scene was catchy and very good. I liked this soundtrack better than... The first one, um, if that means anything. And then Elizabeth did a really good job at directing um, this movie and seeing like, that she's one of the characters in the movie, how she can be, you know, how she can work two different jobs of a movie. And I just kind of, you know, noticed that she did that pretty well. But yeah, and then there was also great dancing and choreography. I liked the dances that went along with, um, with with the songs, the singing, and throughout this whole movie, you could really just feel the energy energy that um, the Bellas were were giving off um, when they were um, singing their songs, and I just felt that same energy too. So guys, this is a pretty good movie. It's not a movie I want to own, and, and with my pros and with my cons, I'm going to have to give this movie a B-. minus. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I will be having more uh, movie reviews today, um, so yeah. That's it for today. Stay tuned for more from Film Fanatic.